recording? No. Is it recording? Is it recorded? My name's Hao Ho. I'm a junior and a filmmaking major, and I am the director of A Blinded Fray. Oh, God damn, finally! Let's get the hell out of here, shit, fucker. <laughs> Cut. A Blinded Fray. Uh, was first pitched by Austin Morford, who um, actually pitched it in, in a completely different idea, where it would be about two four or four roommates who go to a party, and then leave the party and then find a tunnel, and then something mysterious was supposed to happen in the tunnel, but he didn't have an exact imagination for it. A Blinded Fray is a story about um, two guys, or, or well, originally two guys, it's about two um, opposite friends who don't see eye to eye when it comes to their morals and uh, they have major conflicts and at some point um, they go to a party and um, Maddie or who Matt or originally Matt spikes Greg's drink and uh, Greg didn't appreciate that they get into a huge fight and then they stumble upon a tunnel which unfortunately wasn't a tunnel it was a bridge but um, um, that had like some kind of supernatural power to take them to the future and when they take them to the future uh, they learn a life lesson and um, kind of see how their future is pretty much and see uh, who they end up being if they stayed the person they are. We were looking for um, Two female, or one female and two males. We were also looking for a third male, but that third male would've, could've been anybody. Um, but uh, when the actors showed up, there wasn't the amount of actors that we needed, and we didn't want to share with the other uh, members or the other groups that were in the class. So um, immediately, we discussed during our uh, intermission, during our auditions to immediately email our actors before everybody else the moment the class ended and that's what we did and that's how we got the two amazing actors that are um the main lead main roles of our film um annie chalice and nick francesco when i first got the script at the auditions i really liked the story and i really fell in love with the characters and i thought they were very uh relatable and funny and that's what ultimately made me pick this film um, in regards to professionalism, uh, I feel like the film was pretty professional to like student film standards, but it wasn't too strict and everyone really, you know, made it fun. Uh, first time reading the script, um, I was a little concerned because I didn't know how the whole future thing was going to work out. Um, but I think looking at the characters, I think they were really real people and I really fell in love with my character. and. Um, I thought he was really fun, and I thought uh, working with uh, Annie was also super fun. In total, we had about, I think, four shooting days? Yeah, four shooting days. Um, the first one we shot at my sister's house, which was supposed to happen way early. It was supposed to be happening like 6 p.m., but we, ended, we didn't end up going until like 10.30, and we finished filming at like 4 in the morning, and it was bad. Um, it was a really good time though. I thought it was one of my favorite um, shooting days ever. I the alleged affair. Affair? The next day we had two different locations where it was at um, one of the West Village apartments at Ryder University and then at my house. We weren't intentionally going to use my house at first, but it was the only thing we had available and we just went right there because it was the closest house that we had to film in. Um, those days kind of went smoothly, nothing really um, difficult happened with those. The third shooting day we shot the gender reveal party in Ridge House. That one was more difficult because we had to decorate Ridge House's lobby and try to make it more homey than it being like a college residency dorm. 
but um, it turned out fine. We did have some difficulties in terms of um, getting shit together and having all the people show up as extras and whatnot. But um, once we got down to it, we uh, it went pretty smoothly after that. Uh, my favorite part was probably the party scene because uh, we made like a ton of food and there was a whole cake that I got to eat afterwards. That was pretty good. <laughs> Next shooting day, the sh um, this one was probably by far the worst one. I thought it'd be cool because, you know, we'd be going to a tunnel and filming the most crucial scenes of the film, but um, it was cold. Okay, our worst moment filming had to be when we had to do the outdoor scenes in the 40 degree weather, um, which was no fault of like the team or anything, it's just, it was cold and it wasn't fun. Uh, and Annie complained the entire time. Um, <laughs> Nick also did, but Annie complained the most. And uh, we just toughed through it. We had a lot of problems where like the cops even showed up. And then like these high schoolers showed up. Uh, cut back the footage because you got a shot of it. <laughs> Look at he's like he's like waiting for them to leave. He's like trying to get the back out there. Unless you have weed, I mean, he might come back out here. Just cause <laughs> like, Nick goes, unless you have weed, get the fuck out of there. Ow, stab me. <laughs> there you go. Everybody clap. I don't think they could hear you within the car, but it's <laughs> I'll open my door. Why are they reversing? They better not this is some great B-roll. Right. <laughs> are you getting this? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Off they go. Yeah. Alright, let's get to it. Okay. I'm gonna move my car over to that side. lost so much fucking time. So my main goal is to become a film actor and this experience definitely enhanced that goal. I had a really great time and it just really made me fall in love with acting for the camera and stuff. The crew was great to work with and everyone was just a really good time. And I will definitely be auditioning for more films for um, this team again. I really enjoyed this experience. I, I've i never um, done anything with film acting really before. Um, and this was kind of my first like professional experience with that. And I, I had a lot of fun with it um, and you know, that film acting is kind of what I'm headed towards, so definitely I'll be, hopefully, get to do this in the future. The final product, I believe, will be shorter than we imagined, and admittedly so, it's not what I expected, but I think it still turned out pretty great, and I'm excited to see the final product, and I'm excited to see the final product of all the other group members. Why do you have to do this here? I'm going with you guys, but I wouldn't just I'll stop. If you at least take one shot with us. Are you kidding me? You do nothing but nag about safety. <laughs> oh, Greg, the classic. Who are you again, Act? I love it. Keep it up. Keep it up. This house is huge. You're not gay in the present? I don't know if I'm. <laughs> Those were difficult. And now we're in the process of editing. And that's uh Frank's department and uh He's gonna suck, but it'll be fun. <laughs> All right.